Hello, my name is Scott. This is a follow-up video to my Guild Wars 2 with G-Shade video. If you run ArcDPS and Raids and you want to keep that installed, I'll show you how to do it and install G-Shade same time. Also, I heard of a tool from Wooden Potatoes channel about some Guild Wars 2 toolbox that allows you to easily combine G-Shade with ArcDPS, etc. I'm not familiar with it. So what I'm showing you here is a way to do it yourself by manipulating files but maybe go to wooden potato channel also if and there might be a video about a toolbox oh look at this one it's planking plus 90 degrees so what you want to do to run both g shade and arc dps via this method is go to your bin 64 folder once you install G-Shade, you will have a symlink file called D3D9DLL. You want to rename it to Reshade64DLL, like so. Then follow links I will give in the description to download ArcDPS, which is going to be the file D3D9DLL, and D3D9ChainLawDLL. Drop them here, and you're done. When you start the game, you should still be able to access G-Shade via Shift-F2, and ArcDPS via Alt-Shift-T. That's it. If G-Shade... What is this animal doing? If G-Shade gets an update, you can simply update through G-Shade control panel as usual, and that will work because it updates the file symlink points to. It is not going to go look for D3D9 named file in your Guild Wars 2 folder. That's it. Bye-bye.